The aviation industry hasn't changed much in the past few decades. This isn't because people couldn't come up with better ideas. It's just that the alternatives would have the effects on the industry's finances or the environment that have never been seen before. But could electric power be the answer to that question? How does Tesla plan to build one of the most ambitious projects to take flight to the next level? We'll try to explain in this video. Welcome to TechLux. Please support our channel by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing. Also, there are some extra facts about the plane at the end of this video, so make sure to watch it all the way through. We don't know how much what to expect about the Tesla plane, unlike what we know about Musk's plans for cars and space travel. What does Tesla have in mind for the aviation business? Tesla's on-road cars are ahead of their time. You can find a lot of videos and blogs about Tesla's innovations with their electric cars, but it seems like a Tesla plane would take so long to make that it wouldn't be worth it to wait. But Elon Musk has said that he is thinking about making a good electric plane, which goes against what the others have said. What I mean is that the most exciting thing to do would be to build some kind of electric vertical takeoff and landing like a supersonic jet. Vertical takeoff and landing means you don't need a runway. You can just shoot straight up into the air. From what we know, we can say that Elon Musk has said many times that his idea for the plane would be VTOL, or a craft that can take off vertically. He also confirmed, as was clear from his interviews, that he wants to make it a supersonic jet. But just looking at the bright side isn't enough to say how well it can work. The fact that Tesla is looking into the huge problems and changes that will be needed for the project is another sign that he is thinking about this seriously. Elon says that their lack of ability to make a Tesla plane isn't just a matter of money, but also of efficiency and resources. It's a whole different schedule, and it's like there aren't any car companies that also make planes. I think it's very hard to get an airplane into production and meet all the regulatory requirements around the world. It's a very hard thing to do, and we'd have to stop doing a lot of other things. It's not like there are a lot of resources that aren't being used. No, it's more like constant lack of resources. It's very hard to find the right talent, bring it into the organization, and have it work well. It's not just about money though. There's just a fundamental limit on how good engineers can be. Even though Tesla is working on a full capacity plane, car companies like Tesla and Hyundai have done studies and filed patents for a prototype of a car that could carry 3 to 4 people in the air. Since Tesla isn't the only company that invests in these technologies, it would give Tesla the competition it needs to come up with the best results quickly. No, it's not the lack of new ideas. Instead, it's the lack of usefulness and costs. When it came out in 1980s, the Concorde could fly from New York to London in just 3.5 hours. But even though this was useful, it had a lot of problems especially of how much fuel it would cost and how it would hurt the ozone layer. It went twice as fast as the speed of sound, which meant it was very loud in landing and taking off needed more care. Because of these problems, the flight was stopped quickly, and it seems like we've reached the end of what we can do with planes, unless we try to use electric ones. Electric planes are powered by batteries and can be much less expensive. We would also save money on making the plane, it, and it wouldn't cost as much to keep up as a traditional plane. Musk says that he also wants to make takeoffs more efficient by shortening the length of the runway. If the plane could make upward thrust that, that could then be turned into a forward thrust, the flight could almost take off like a drone. Since multiple propellers can divide the upward force, it can be used to cut down the noise made during the takeoff. It's also possible in the real world. Since an airplane would only need about 400 watt hours per kilogram of power to take off, Tesla is also working to improve the size of its batteries. The percentage of the cell of the plane is high. It doesn't need to be as high as it on a rocket, but it's around 70% and the power output is 400 watts per kilogram. You can get a very good range. Unlike regular planes, the Tesla plane would be able to fly faster than the speed of sound without the problems we have now. This means the transportation would be much faster, and the time it takes to get somewhere could be cut by about a half. When we talk about Tesla's planes, we can't ignore some of the problems that Tesla still needs to solve. The battery would be the worst part of any electric plane. Elon Musk has talked about this a lot as one of the biggest problems with making a Tesla plane. 
Even though batteries are strong, they can only hold so much energy. Unlike fuels, which can be moved and used in a short amount of time, you can't do that with electricity. Musk says that Tesla is working on making their batteries more powerful. In a couple of years, they might be able to make batteries that are more efficient. Now, think about flying 100 feet up in the air and passing over countries in a single charge. Luckily, a number of companies are working on ways to make batteries more efficient without making them bigger. This is good news to anyone who is looking forward to the Tesla plane. But it's not just the size of the battery that would be a problem for the airlines. Safety would also be a problem. There are many ways to make sure that a plane's fuel tank doesn't get damaged. And even if it does, there are steps that can be taken to lessen the damage. But because electric plane is in its early stages, there isn't enough research or certification to come up with a plan to protect the battery in case something goes wrong. It's also a lot more expensive to check the battery for problems than it's to check the fuel pipes on a traditional plane. The conventional plane also has ways to dump fuel if something goes wrong while taking off or landing to prevent explosions. However, if a battery catches fire, there is no way to just dump the battery out of the plane and away from the passengers. Can Tesla figure out how to make a plane that runs on electricity alone? Almost every problem has a way to solve it. As long as there is time, people will come up with solutions that work well and are easy to understand. We already know that the supersonic jets can take off from a vertical takeoff. Electric planes might also be able to go short distances, but only at speeds of less than 40 kilometers per hour. Does that sound familiar to you? Yes, that's what people used to say when electric cars were slow and didn't get very far. Then Tesla came along and changed the world of electric cars. Planes can be treated the same way. Musk plans to solve the problems by putting the aero engineers from SpaceX to the Tesla facilities together. This will also give an electric plane a useful source of information that no other company has. He has also said that flying car prototypes can work in real life. Also, work is done every day to fix the biggest problems with batteries. Not just EVs, but also appliances and technologies need batteries that are small but still working well and everyone in every industry is studying how to make batteries that work well. As soon as the battery problems are fixed, the first electric plane will be ready for testing and certification. Think about how computers have changed over time. In the 1980s, the computers were huge, but they were not very powerful. Now, it can look as sleek as a MacBook and be as powerful as any computer ever made. It won't be long before we see the pattern in batteries too. Tesla also comes up with different ways to get power. Instead of charging on the ground, it would make sense for the plane to be able to charge while it is in the air. Well, there is a way, and it is called solar power. Having very efficient solar panels could also give Tesla plane an extra source of power. This would be the same as having a backup fuel tank on a regular plane. Even though Tesla have to come up with a whole new way to make solar panels work better, is also theoretically possible. But not all the ideas for the EV plane come from Tesla. Some of them come from people who care about the environment. Funding and specific research have been done to make electric planes that work well, and the best of these are open sources. The CEO of Ampere, Kevin Nordker, says, We need to change the industry. Now we get to the most important part of the video. Let's look at how far away and how likely it is that Tesla will release the electric plane. It's not easy to guess when the Tesla plane will be ready. But the progress of science in the field of electronic solutions and Musk's interest in the project can be used to give rough idea of when the product will start. According to the research of the description, it's likely that we'll have a smaller, more powerful battery in 3 to 4 years. Next, if Tesla starts making at least a plan for the machine, it would take 2-3 to three years of testing and research to make a model that works. But that won't be the end because the plane still needs aviation certifications to be made in large numbers. This would take an extra t year or two, and Tesla would need another year or so to make the plane available in the public. Also, if some new rules have to be made for an electric plane, it could take even longer, up to a year. When you add it all up, you have to wait about 8 more years to see the electric supersonic plane flying through the air. You can also expect that the plane will be able to carry a lot of people and things, and it will be better at what it does. 
You can also expect that the government will give the Tesla plane a lot of support and money because it will help countries switch to greener ways of getting around. In the same way SpaceX works with NASA, government aviation departments can work with Tesla to make flying faster, safer, and less expensive. But if we're talking about prices, you might have to wait for a few more years for ridiculously cheap flights since Tesla needs to make back the money it spent on research in its early years. If you want to see more videos, click the subscribe button or watch some of our other interesting videos that are showing up on your screen right now. Thank you for watching.